drink every time I, I flip my hair. You'll be, you'll be plastered. Unless you're drinking coffee because then you'll be, I just did it. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing a coffee talk with you guys. Um, coffee in hand. I'm getting so much better at this where I don't actually forget to make myself a glorious succulent cup of coffee before I sit down to film a coffee talk. Also, I'm in the middle of doing like a no heat hair challenge where I'm trying to go the whole week without using any heat on my hair. And um, I can't really tell by the viewfinder if this is if this look is working for me. So you're gonna see me flipping flopping it around. So for today's video, I wanted to talk about things that I wish I knew when I was a teenager. It's so funny because a lot of this is probably relative to even if you're not a teenager and you're watching this or maybe you're like my age and you're gonna you're gonna hear me say these things and you're gonna be like, yep, wish I knew that too when I was a teenager. I really do wish I could go back in time and sit my 16 year old butt down and be like, listen, let me just tell you these things and save you so much like heartache and so much stress and anxiety. Let me just tell you all the secrets about life. So if you guys want to know the things that I wish I knew as a teenager or things that I'll tell you if you're a teenager out there listening, then just keep watching. Number one, for Christ's sakes, stand up for yourself. The real Slim Shady, please stand up. I don't, why, why do you stay so quiet? Like why do you let people walk all over you like a doormat? I do not understand. You can stand up for yourself in a mature way and there's gonna be times where you try and stand up for yourself and you do it the whole wrong way and you go at it with a chip on your shoulder like everybody try and mess with me attitude and don't do that either. Just stand up for yourself in the most mature, collected way because you're allowed to. You're allowed to stand up for yourself. And number two, stand up for others. Don't be a bystander. You know, like the amount of times that you're gonna like involve yourself in conversations that you don't even really wanna be in or like gossip or bullying, just don't like stand up for other people just as much as you would wanna be stood up for. Put yourself in other people's shoes when people are being talked about or bullied or whatever. Even if it's just like a passive thing, like if it's just passive aggressiveness where people are mean without really even being mean, stand up for other people or be the kind person that like reaches out and tries to make someone feel better rather than making people feel worse. Number three, you do not need to find your one true love in high school, okay? Can we just like relax? Can we, can we simmer? Can we simmer the whole like falling in love idea with all of these like Taylor Swift songs and, and these like this glorious idea that you're gonna meet your one true love when you're young and be together for the rest of your life. Like, no, you think you know yourself, but you have no idea who the hell you are. You have no idea who the person you're with actually is because they don't know who the hell they are. Freaking props to anyone that does find their one true love in high school, but take that pressure off yourself. You don't even have to do that in your 20s. So just relax, just relax. Number four is to learn to, l I'll let you finish. Number four is to learn to laugh at yourself. Like if I would have known how to laugh at myself in high school, I think I would have gotten by with a lot less like anger and, and sadness. I was so worried about what people thought of me. I was so worried about messing things up that when I did, I would just like the guilt and the pressure would weigh on me so much that I'd get angry with myself and I'd get sad and upset instead of just laughing at myself. I took myself way too seriously in high school and I took like my feelings and my emotions way too seriously in high school. Laugh, like be lighthearted. Don't take shit so seriously. It, like life is easy. The sun goes up. Oh, okay. Okay. You're back. The sun comes up, the sun goes down. It's us humans that complicate it. And when you're a teenager, you almost even further complicate it. So just laugh at yourself, be lighthearted. Take life easy, you know? Number five, everybody's weird. Every single person, even the most popular or perfect person you know, is weird. So show your weird, even if nobody else is. I wish, like when I think about being a kid, I was such a weird kid. And somewhere along the way, we lose that weirdness. We lose that ability to just be goofy and be funny because like I said, we start taking ourselves too seriously. We train ourselves to hide that because we think that people are gonna think that we're weird. Weird is so freaking cool. You're gonna get to your 20s and you're gonna have to retrain yourself to be okay with your weirdness. I'm 23 and I'm trying to like be, like let my weirdness show more because there's nothing wrong with being weird. If anything, the weird 
the weirder you are, the cooler you are, in my opinion. So be weird even if no one else is showing it because everyone is weird. Why do we train ourselves to stop being weird? That is like the worst worst idea we've ever had. Number six is don't give up on your passions even if nobody else believes in you. I can even say it in the sense of this was a passion of mine in high school. Doing YouTube was something I tried in high school, okay? And it was comical and it was the exact same story that pretty much every other YouTuber has where they got made fun of and they deleted it and blah 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 blah. But I was obsessed with video editing. I was obsessed with the idea of like creating this online world that could be like your escape or your release. So that was my that was my wheelhouse and I got made fun of and nobody believed in me. Aside from like my dad and like my sister because they were the only two people that kind of knew when I started doing YouTube again. Nobody else really believed in me and God bless them for doing it because they were the ones that when I would start to take myself too seriously and not learn to laugh at myself and I'd be like I don't know if I can do this they'd be like no it's cool keep going no matter what you're passionate about no matter what you love to do even if nobody else believes in you keep doing it anyway like screw the haters you know adios mother tip number seven is take a ton of pictures don't delete them you know it all ties back again to taking ourselves way too goddamn seriously there came a point in like grade 12 my last year of high school where I looked back on all my my high school days and my even my elementary school days and I was like holy sweet Jesus delete any evidence of me ever looking that way so here I am now at 23 god I would just love to pull up one of those photos but I can't because I deleted them all you know so yeah take more photos don't delete them private them. Number eight is one of the ones that I, like the most important one that I wish I could go back and tell myself and it's what you think of yourself is more important than what anybody else thinks of you. If I could go back and tell myself to care more about what I feel or think about what I'm doing than what anyone else feels or thinks about what I'm doing, I think it would have saved myself a lot of doing things under peer pressure, doing things without even the peer pressure but doing things just for the sake of thinking people would like me more and saying things because I thought that's what people would want to hear or what that's what I thought people wanted from me I think I could save myself a lot of that I can pinpoint multiple times in my teenage career where I really didn't like myself and it was because I lost myself trying to appease to everybody else and nobody was even putting that pressure on me I was I feel like that's probably one of the most important things I'd go back and tell myself it's that the way you feel about yourself is more important than how anyone else feels about you you have to like you more than you need anyone else to like you because you're the one that's got to wake up and go to sleep and and be with yourself every day so yeah number nine <laughs> Oh boy, you will recover from your first heartbreak and your second heartbreak and your third heartbreak even though it feels like the end of the world because I like it's almost kind of funny when I look back on how upset I would get over boys in high school. I remember, I vividly remember my first like real heartbreak. It felt like I couldn't even breathe air into my lungs. It hurt so bad and I would like hibernate my blankets and listen to the most emo music. Why? and be so sad and heartbroken, disturbingly embarrassing, you know, Facebook statuses or BBM statuses, like shout out if you even remember what BBM is. I'm talking like ugly, cry, two hours straight, heartbreak. And when you're a teenager, it just, it feels like you're never gonna find someone like that again. You're never gonna be in love with someone like that again, but holy crap, that is like the furthest thing from the truth. So yeah, I would love to go back and just pet the hair of the little 15 year old me crying her eyes out and be like oh dear lord you have no idea oh but it's okay because we all do it the tenth thing that i would go back and tell my teenage self is it's okay to feel confused and alone like if there was an album of my teenage youth it probably would be titled confused and alone i was so so lost like i almost like clinged to the idea of my loneliness and i mean i've talked to you guys about this before like i definitely suffered from anxiety and depression long before my 20s like in my in my high school career i definitely struggled with being anxious and i struggled with social anxiety and i struggled with depression but i in a way i almost kind of clung to it and i almost kind of beat myself up for it i'd be like why do i feel this way why am I so confused? Why am I so lonely? And I really wish I could go back and just be like, listen, it's okay to feel that way because everyone on some cosmic level feels that way. Everyone at some point in their life feels that way and you're not the only person on the earth even feeling that at that second. There's someone else wondering the exact same thing. You're always gonna be confused. Like I'm 23 and I'm still confused. 
then it kind of takes the pressure off, you know? Just, just be confused. Like the, there's almost kind of beauty in that. So just take that pressure off and let yourself feel the way you feel without beating yourself up for it. <laughs> Six and a half hours later. So my camera totally died. To wrap it all together with a pretty bow, those are the 10 things that if I could go back in time and tell myself as a teenager or things I wish I knew as a teenager, those would be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a comment down below telling me if you could go back in time and tell a past version of yourself something, what would it be? Because I mean, there's so much that I probably left out of this video that I would go back and tell myself, but those were like the highlights. And I'm curious, like what age would you go back to and what would you tell yourself? And other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this coffee talk. I love you guys to the moon and back, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys. Just